I've had the sincere pleasure and joy and fortune to owning many, many gold wings in the fifth generation. One of my favorite generation gold wings. Uh, I've had uh, first generation gold wings as well. I've done reviews of these motorcycles. I've done a buyer's guide. But in this particular video, I'd like to introduce you to some of the ways that these gold wings can be sparkled out, made your own. A lot of different chrome parts, for example, that are available, a lot of wind deflection options. One can get lost in these options. So stay with me while I take you through it. You can decide what you like more. All right, let's do it. Zdravo i dobrodošli, bon dia, benvindos, servus, willkommen, buenos dias, bienvenidos, greetings riders, and welcome to a comparative review of the ways in which you can outfit the fifth generation Goldwing. Now, there are multiple ways which you can do this, many more than I can show you with just three samples, but I've had the pleasure of owning so many, and I finally kind of tuned into what I like on a Goldwing, and my favorite part is when the chrome comes down low and the color pops up top. I'll tell you some of the add-ons like the seat rest and the foot pegs that I prefer and then hopefully it helps you make a better decision because it's overwhelming really all the options that are available on a Goldwing. No two are alike in the whole country even though it's the most sold motorcycle I think in history. So here you can see for example two different wheels. Here's a chrome wheel on the, the pearl yellow one. Here is the standard wheel. I really love the chrome. I think the chrome really makes the wheel pop. It just gives it a better look. The rear is not so important because the rear you can actually hide it's not something that's very visible but the front you do see and it just brings that whole bike uh, level i think up a notch as you can see in the, the yellow gold wing it's got some mud guards in the back there's an eagle whose eyes actually light up in the front this one here has a little bumper as well it's a little annoying because it's one more thing you have to take off when you are working on the brakes and whatnot, but it does actually look really, really nice. I think the front end is missing a little bit and some gold wings, of course, this little air vent here, you can add a chrome piece to it. I do like how this looks, this little cover for the front brake as well. And I think for the most part, aside from the lights that you can add, like there are on the yellow one, I, I think that's a little too much. I, 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 this is the simplest and kind of most luxurious way that I found the setup to look. Here you have different options between fully chrome or vented as well. I would leave that vented. Same option can go for this part here. You can see all these have the same vented chrome piece there as well. This here, the radiator piece can also be chromed out like over there. The engine piece can be chromed out as well like it is over there. And this piece in the front can be chromed out as well as the center right there inside. All of that is personal preference. This is actually a very very pricey part i think in the 400s per side for it has to be metal because that's where the headers are and as you can see on this particular gold wing i have a lot of chrome this whole engine or this whole not just engine but the frame part it's all chromed out here 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 and then back here and back here here we have different sizes. you see over there there's some winglets for example and here is just an empty i actually do like those winglets a little more now this part normally comes painted the same color but over there and on this one as well i have a chrome piece that's that has running lights on the side and that does actually add a little little class to it in my opinion and so does up here as well this orange one has spoilers basically skirts here and here and those are extra options that are color matched as is the spoiler in the rear this one unlike all my other ones uh, does not have a rear luggage rack i find the luggage rack mostly useful for picnics when i do my sidecar tours in san diego i can actually offer picnics and i put a picnic basket on top and i strap it down and it looks cute you know even if we don't have a picnic speaking of if you're ever in san diego let me take you out a proper way to show you the city you can learn a little bit of the history of this amazing city america's finest city and a very very large beautiful town we'll ride the coast in a gold wing two person sidecar and a third behind me all connected with bluetooth and you get to see it the right way. And if you like the idea, stay tuned for franchise opportunities available to a city near you. This is something you think you could see yourself doing, owning your own business, being a partner, not an employee, choosing your hours, all of that, so being your own boss, making good money with tourists. Reach out, I'd love to help you out. This is the rig, we're not changing it. We're only working with this because this is an American made motorcycle, made in Ohio, and American made sidecar, best in class. Pegasus Sidecar Tours. 
both of these, for example, have different style of handrests or, or passenger armrests. This one has a bracket. This is by Chromeworks. The back seat for the rider and the passenger armrest, it's all one bracket. The Chromeworks backrest is adjustable by three points. Uh, that one over there is individual. The backrest comes from the seat directly and the brackets for the passenger armrests are basically apart. So the bracket ends with the grab handles here. It's a little tricky to thread those multiple times. So hopefully you just have to do it once. With the sidecar, it's impossible to do that because once the sidecar is connected to this point here, you, you can't really offer clearance enough to install any kind of armrest. So that's why my sidecars don't have it. Uh, and also it makes um, going in and out a little bit easier without these. I like this Chromeworks because you can actually just push it forward, unlike the other one, which gives you more resistance. So this is kind of nice. Uh, it's just held by cotter pins. Uh, right now it's all the way to the back. I wish there was a little more room to push it back because even I, once I put my feet on the highway pegs, I feel a little, not cramped by any means, but I could, I could definitely go back a little more. Speaking of the highway pegs, these are the Kuryakin convertible pegs, basically. They're extendable. As you can see, I can just flip them down. I actually don't find myself using that often enough, to be honest, so it's not crucial, but I do love these highway pegs. If they're adjusted correctly, oh, there's nothing like hitting the cruise control and just cruising on the coast. Beautiful. The passenger over here, as you can see, also has the Kuryakin footboards with the extension. It's kind of nice. And um, on the left side, my controls are heel shifter. And I like that a lot. The whole thing comes together so you don't have to remove the shifter itself. You just It just slides into it. And I like that a lot. And I find myself using it. I mean, I don't know. It's kind of interesting. But I, I actually really love that heel shifter. So if you've been considering it, it's not just a look thing. I, I ride better with it. Kind of interesting. I also save my shoes if if that's important to you. So I like to stand on my Goldwing. I find it more comfortable for longer rides. It's just you can put the cruise control on and have the wind kind of stretch your pecs a little bit. It, I talk about this when I'm uh, reviewing the Goldwing. It's one of the best benefits. It's just such a comfortable bike to be standing on and just kind of flying through the air like Superman. I love it. For that though, it's helpful to have tank grips like my yellow one has and uh, footboards. Footboards just keep you super planted. Uh, here on this red one, I have to sit back on the on the passenger footboards because they're stock on the front they're they're narrower and you don't get as much balance and whatnot so uh, it's another benefit of the footboards if you find yourself standing up on your gold wing of course on the yellow on the orange one i have extended bars as well making that very comfortable i'm not bent over i'm just standing on the bike going at 80 90 miles an hour i love it i want really literally one of the secret benefits of the gold wing it's just a bike you can just do this all day long you know this one in particular has winglets here basically deflectors the bottom deflector is adjustable so if i'm using the heel the the highway pegs i actually have to flip it away from my my feet maybe if you have longer feet you wouldn't have to do that this part is not adjustable and these deflectors are also adjustable a little bit not by much but i do find they actually when the stock windscreen is pulled all the way up i find them to vibrate very to, to actually catch a lot of wind and to vibrate that that windscreen a lot here you see different winds different deflectors they're called air wings basically and they are also adjustable but uh here i have this one that kind of broke not kind of it did break um didn't find those so appealing because the installation has a lot of bracketry that you see here it does not it uh, goes into this very very uh, what's the word not so robust plastic piece in a manner that does not affect its longevity as much as the other way of installing it i noticed that i don't quite feel too comfortable taking that in and uh, off whenever i need to work on the gold wing and of course every time you need to do anything you need to take off the side the panels and the plastic so um, even the airbox clean it's like a six hour job so i've done everything on this goldwing including changing the starter including changing the the head brag the bearings etc so yeah gold wings are fun to work on aren't they so that's so much for the wings and again i do like putting all the chrome on the bottom and leaving the color up top uh, this one here has chrome how would you call that grip 
grips on the side of the tank. They look good actually, but then, then you kind of hide away some of the paint and the paint, I think the tank and sides are where you see it most. So I like that. Speaking of the paint, this one over here has the center console color matched, which is really great. It, it makes it look so much nicer when the center console, instead of being generic gray, basically matte gray, it's color matched. It brings all that color toward the fore. And I really, I really appreciate that. Otherwise there's too much plastic in the front. Speaking of paint, this one has protection. Basically, there is a clear film on the gas tank cap, around the gas tank cap. The whole front here, there's a film. The whole front here, there's a film. Film, film, and film in the front, film on the sides. Uh, this was an expensive option that you had to get done to get it perfect without any air bubbles. I don't like it. Uh, obviously, I'm not the one who did that. I don't like it just because um, I want to see the paint. I mean, you could see the paint even now, but um, I think it's just another filter. You know, well, bikers, we don't really like looking through a windscreen. Same reason I don't like looking through this. Maybe you are different in that regard. Your mentality is different where you do want this to be protected, the paint as much as possible. And of course, the front gets a lot of chips and all that. But there's an eggshell finish that I'm not a, not a fan of. So I would just peel that off, honestly. I haven't done that because this bike is being raffled to one of you. If you take a look at uh, a video for my playlist, you, you'll see how you can do that. But that's what I would do if I were keeping this bike. It just, um, I would remove that because also the edges then get uh, gunked up and you can you could see that, you know. And I noticed in the morning when there's dew, you could see it even more, like, it like fogs up or something, kind of interesting. But it's been really, really well applied. There's no air bubbles or anything. So, so much for that. Again, this one has extended uh, controls, basically. The handlebars taller by a few inches, and I like that. I like that a lot. Now, I like how, uh, for, for example, here we mentioned this one has the spoiler. That one has a handle where the Han, the lettering is right above. There's a handle. That's something you have to uh, drill for, install, or there's other ones you can tape as well. And of course, uh, on that one, I installed a luggage carrier, basically. I believe it's Kuryakin luggage rack, and you have to also drill for that. So another benefit of the luggage carrier, you get to carry a, a nice, beautiful American flag. And I like that because it is, an, it is an American made motorcycle. This has different tips for the exhaust. And this one also has chrome down at the rear brake. So that's the reason why the rear wheel is not chromed out. You can barely see any of it as opposed to here. Another option is to replace this whole front part with a chrome, also plastic one. Really easy to do. Two screws, basically, after you remove the rubber, you just pull it off. The mirrors can be pushed both ways in and out. And two screws hold this thing in place, basically right there, that one right there. It's 10 millimeter, and then you just pull it out of the gussets. Look at that, beautiful. Very, very catchy, very beautiful. It replaces the stock part. Also beautiful, but uh, for some reason this really calls attention. Uh, oh, one more thing before I forget. You see the radiator cover here is also chrome, and I like that. That brings, uh, I don't know, another level of, it's not just a, a mindless, needless Farco. I think if you're going to add so much chrome, it doesn't hurt to have this black plastic be chrome as well. Of course, the lights you can change. This one has the white clear lights in the back as opposed to the red and orange stock. For the orange bike, the red and orange looks great, even for the yellow, I gotta say. I think I like this more than the, the white lights in the back. And one more thing that I forgot is here at the mirrors, we have this piece here, a little much, I think. I like those mirrors underneath where my, my sidecar mirror has a has an extra little mirror on this side over here. And I noticed actually the turn signal that's incorporated into these gold wings, uh, here it isn't, over there it's invisible. So you can't see the dots here, you can actually see them. And I, I'm very impressed by that even to this day. I don't really know how they do it, but um, here we have little covers, it's called Free Spirit. There's a little Eagle logo and the Kuryakin uh, controls. I really, really like these grips because they also kind of incorporate a uh, uh, what is it, uh, uh, not a throttle lock, but a cramp buster, so to speak, not, not that brand. 
and it's just easier to maintain speed and not to worry about it. These both come with, uh, all three actually, all four, come with uh, a cup holder, so um, different ways of doing it. Uh, the Chrome obviously is nicer, but these come with their own sizable, it looks like a big gulp, it's a little unattractive in that regard. And this has all the little plastic pieces around the buttons is chromed out. So there's a lot of uh, chrome accents, including the vents as well, the vents are chromed out. So this one has a little, little emblem that says what the bike wants the bike gets and that's how it feels you really really do get that little aftermarket uh, cup holder and a lot of lights this look like an ambulance ridiculous it actually does that when you hit the brakes which is kind of nice but everything else is ridiculous i mean i don't even know if the camera can catch all that i mean there's like lights in the speakers I don't know who has the time to do that, but there's lights here. Look at that. And then I went in and I just ripped everything off because I didn't like any kind of uh, possibilities for uh, parasitic draws on the battery. There were just so many lights, it was absurd. I mean, the eagle's light comes up, the eagle's eyes light up, tons of fog lights, strobe lights, blue, yellow, green. It just, come on. Some people just go overboard in a lot of time. A lot of time was spent for me then to just go and rip it all up. What happened was I bought it, took it home, the next day it died, and I did not know if it was a hidden kill switch or something. Uh, it ended up being a starter, so I was able to tap it, realize it was a starter, and then go through the whole process of replacing the starter. Before that, of course, I replaced the relays, both A and B, reverse and forward, and that didn't fix it, so hell of a job. If you're needing to do the starter, check out my video on it not exactly a tutorial but it does show you how to do it easier I mean it's three bolts in and out plug and play but to get to it and to get that old starter out and the new one in it's very difficult so enjoy it but save yourself a ton of money by doing it yourself and learn how to do it yourself because you could get stuck on the side of the road and you don't know that just tapping a thing will get you home I think that pretty much covers how these bikes are different I have another one in the garage that's basically stock it doesn't have any chrome add-ons it looks good it's a gold wing but uh i mean look at this thing it's gorgeous when when it's passing by and the sun's hitting it especially in this sunburst orange made only in 2002 it's just a very very attractive bike so there it is i hope this uh, video was at least somewhat helpful in helping you make a decision about the array of goods offered for the gold wing thank you for watching if you're in san diego let me take you for a ride on my beautiful gold wing sidecar or if you'd like to just take a tour, check out our website, PegasusMotorcycleTours.com, where I have options. But again, all my tours are private, curated, customized for your individual needs. So whatever you have in mind, we can make it happen. Ride safe until next time. Nick, I'm out.